To create a new private session, the technician must click on the New Session button. Once the New Session button is pressed, the technician will be prompted to fill in each custom field. Custom fields are definable fields so that the technician can capture customer's information for security, audit, session tracking, and historic purposes. This information can be viewed through the reporting area in the Admin Center. The custom fields are customized in the Admin Center under the Global Settings tab. Once you have filled in all the custom fields, you have a few options for connection method. The PIN code option would be used if you are already in verbal communication with the end user. Once you have filled out the custom fields, click Create PIN. Once this button has been clicked, the technician will then be issued a PIN code, at which point they will verbally give the user the PIN code. The user will then be directed to a PIN code portal by the technician. By default, logmein123.com is used. This is shown on the new session form by default here. Once the customer navigates to the logmein123 page, they will enter the PIN code and click Start Download. PIN codes can also be used with your own site as we provide HTML code to host your own PIN code portal. The PIN code method can also be used with mobile devices and the calling card. When using the email method, you have two options for relaying the email to the customer. You can send the email using the default mail client on the technician's PC, or you can opt to have the rescue server send it on your behalf. If emailing a mobile device, you can elect to select the mobile device's operating system by checking off this option and then selecting it from the drop-down box. When using the default mail client, Rescue will automatically open a new email with whatever messaging you specify under the group level settings for email with the subject of Direct Connect Link. Fill in the end user's email in the To field and click Send. When using the rescue servers to email, you must first specify an email before you can continue. Once the email has been specified, click Email Link. The technician will be shown the email address of the end user, the PIN code, and a message that the link has been sent to the end user. The user will then receive an email with the technician's name as specified in the Admin Center for the From field, as well as the company name. The email will contain any messaging you specified in the group level settings. Once the user clicks on the link in the email, they will be prompted to download and execute a customer applet. The link method is generally used once you are already in contact with the end user, such as a chat protocol or something you can readily paste the link into. The link can also be used in situations where you may have typed out a long email and you want to give the end user the option to connect to you after reading the email. You also have the ability to specify the link is for a mobile device. This then allows you to select the specific mobile operating system to tailor the link to. Once you have filled in all the custom fields, click the Link tab, then click Copy Link to Clipboard, at which point you would simply paste the link into the desired medium. Once the customer clicks on the link, they will be directed to a download page.
The SMS option is only utilized when connecting to a mobile device. The device will require an active cellular service plan in order to receive SMS messages. Once you have filled out the necessary custom fields, click on the SMS tab. You will then be prompted to enter the number of the device you would like to remotely access. Please note that you will have to put in the country code. For the United States, the country code is 1. By default, Rescue will try to auto-detect the platform. Alternatively, you can have the option to specify a specific mobile operating system by clicking here. Once you have entered in the number of the device you are connecting to, click Send SMS. The user will receive a text message with a link to the Rescue connection. Certain devices such as Android and BlackBerry will require an applet download, whereas iOS devices are web-based only at this time.